So, ladies and gentlemen, new video. Have not uploaded the past few videos just yet, but by the time this is uploaded, I probably will that I've made over like the last couple days and or a week. Use this as a prop. Go Valley, what you get out of me. This is my car magnet that I bought like two years ago uh, from the front office. I need to buy another one because the stickiness is pretty much worn out on this one for the most part. And the reason why is because it's been raining you know, quite, well, this is in the middle of the hurricane. This is the week of the hurricane, so that's why. So, you could say definitely a lot of water has gotten underneath this, and next thing you know, it's the magnetic part or whatever, you could say, has now been worn out, so I'm definitely going to give me another one of these. Eventually, once again, to continue to support and encourage my Valley Ridge Academy Hawks, my little brothers and sisters of the next generation. Again, everybody from there, for the most part, is automatically zoned to Allen Denny's High School, my beloved alma mater, niece's home, niece's family, or niece's family, niece's home, whichever one goes first in your mind, in your book. Even though a lot of people have a lot of negative things to say about it, I have some positive things to say. So that's just what that is. Same thing with Valley Ridge Academy. I got positive things. Those of you have negative things. Again, let's try to all learn better and grow in Christ's name for the further events of all people, shall we? so on and so on um so ladies and gentlemen this video hopefully will go to five minutes if not 15 because probably not 15 because i don't have enough storage on my phone for that so hopefully five minutes i want to really talk about some nfl teams and how <clears throat> the nfl is kind of ticking me off a lot reason why i say that ladies and gentlemen because again look up alex magoo alex magoo did lights out if you were to ask me with the jaguars preseason yet he still found himself cut why i don't know and yet, they would rather go with the rookie Gardner Minshew behind Nick Foles. Why? I don't know. Of course, he was going to keep Gardner Minshew regardless. But why cut Alex Magoo and Tanner Lee? When definitely Alex Magoo showed out and proved why he should have made the team. Should have made the team. But I definitely tell you, a lot of people just have their own little, you know, I mean, <laughs> I mean, like I said, I think a lot of these NFL teams, head coaches, GMs, etc., executives they're biased and they're biased garbagely biased to where you wonder why every single year you're either not in the playoffs or you're in a, a quick you know one and out one and done what that means is you go to the wall card and then you lose the wall card or you go to the wall card and then you go to the, the divisional and you win somewhere within that mix that's what i'm trying to express there to people you know you never make it to the super bowl or you end or you never make it to the conference championship and why? Because look at what you're doing. Look at how everything's going. I think a lot of these quarterbacks in the NFL are absolutely overrated. Some of them are not. Some of them are absolutely studs. But a lot of them are overrated. I can rest assure you the ones that we know are for sure not overrated, at least in my book. Tom Brady is not overrated. Drew Brees is not overrated. The bad man himself, Aaron Rodgers, is not overrated. And a few more. If you were to ask me, and or maybe that just might be the only three that are not overrated. I think everybody else might just be overrated. I think Matt Ryan's overrated. I think uh, Philip Rivers is overrated. Eli Manning is, you know, I mean, we'll see this season. And I think other than that, like I said, I love a lot of the young guys. Honestly, I think a lot of the young guys are bringing the excitement back to the sport. And not only are they bring the excitement back, they're bringing the fans back because I remember. I think it was during, during the Jaguars' tenure um, with their, you know, Super Bowl run, or not really Super Bowl, but the Commerce Championship run. During that season, if I'm not mistaken, the NFL supposedly had some of its lowest views in a while and a, and a long time. And can you blame them to an extent with everything that was going on that season? You know, and then you needed people like Patrick Mahomes, Deshaun Watson, and more to bring that pizzazz back. Baker Mayfield bring that pizzazz back. You know, you needed people like that and now you got them, particularly in the quarterback position, you got them. And I can rest assure you, Lamar Jackson as well, you got them. I mean, the league needs to realize that you have probably just those three quarterbacks of Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, and uh, what's the other guy? And Drew Brees. Those guys, I feel like they're are, they are anomalies within their own game. You know, even though the one that has the more Super Bowl rings is indeed uh, Tom Brady, but still, if you were to ask me, all three of those quarterbacks, they're untouchables. Every last one of them are a GOAT, and, or are the GOAT, and they all are Hall of Famers. Certified, undisputed Hall of Famers. I think everybody else in the league that's not young 
is probably overrated at this point. Um, forgive me if I'm wrong because I'm pretty sure there's a few more on that list that you know are not overrated, but I can definitely tell you I believe Matt Ryan's overrated, Philip Rivers is overrated, Matthew Stafford's overrated, and a couple more. Why do I say to say that they're overrated? Ladies and gentlemen, again, how many times have they made it to the playoffs and or, you know, won some playoff games versus every year they're in the same position every single year either, you know, looking into the playoffs, you know, because they're not in the playoffs, you know, like, you know, they're, you know, they're on, the, on the outside looking in or they're in, but they're, you know, being eliminated in the first or second round. Pretty sure you understand. And that's exactly what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, Dak Prescott is awesome as well. But that's what I'm trying to say, everybody. Examine, read by with quarterback position. Tell them, ask yourself, how many truly belong in the NFL versus how many are overrated? Jacoby Brissett should not have gotten that new extension because he did nothing to deserve it. He got his butt kicked during that um, 2017 season with the Jags. Not, well, during that year with the Jaguars owned the division and practically almost owned the a AFC practically. He got his butt kicked. Him and C.J. Beathard for the 49ers, they got their butt kicked that season. But yeah, C.J. Beathard, not C.J. Beathard, but yeah, but Jacoby Brissett got a two-year, $30 million deal. You did nothing to earn it. Nothing. Nothing. But yet he got it. That's a deal Dak Prescott should have got for now, if not higher than that. <laughs> you know, I mean, because Dak's done something, hasn't he? Think about it. So, I mean, um... I'm probably going to end this in seven minutes instead. I love y'all. Take care. Again, think about that. How many quarterbacks are truly overrated versus how many truly got the talent? Think about it. Not only look at the numbers, but also look at the film. Do they pop off your screen as, you know, they got that enigma? Do they pop off your screen as that's the guy? Do they pop off your screen of, you know, again, don't bet against him and feel the things? Or do they look at, or do they not bounce off your screen and it's like, uh, anybody could have done that. You know, think about it to an extent. You might shock yourself. Love you all. Take care. God bless one son of shame. Your boy, man, Injury to the City, out. Um, again, dropped five new, six new songs, actually. Nothing Improved album's done. And the next album, the last summer album, is titled uh, Love Who You Love. And because unbiasedly, I'm going to tell you this, we need to, again, spread more of God's love throughout this entire culture to just in God's name love who you love and just let God be your touch and witness at the end of the day because I'm telling you this right again what else do we have to lose and or we need to put our faith in something that's gonna get us not only to the afterlife but get us living more with morals and courage and purpose because a lot of people lack all three of those in today's day and age God bless take care